are you doing? What is the problem? What's wrong with you? What are you doing? You didn't give him any warning. You just grabbed the money. Oh, this is the same one that we had in here. Yeah, that was in there. It was not out here. What is wrong? They said we can have. We can, they said we can speak out here on the sidewalk freely. You can speak, but there's no way to fight. Nobody told us that. What are you doing? Nobody told me that. This is, well, how come there's no amplification? Hey, you guys are acting like thugs, man. You're acting like straight up thugs. Hey, you're 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 taking away my. Hand. He has every right to be out here engaging in speech. He has every right to be out here engaging in speech. There's cars driving by with their radios playing. That's amplified sound. People are standing out here with radios. That's amplified sound. The ordinance has to do with a decibel gauge. Um, most of the children there were probably between the ages, if I were to take a guess, like 5 to 12. 5 to 12 years of age. And the police officers stood there and watched and did nothing. Correct. Now... How many of you traveled from Waukesha, Wisconsin, a suburb of Milwaukee, over to uh, Whitewater? How many of you in your group traveled over there? And are they also teenagers? Yeah, a lot of the the people that came over, they were teenagers, um, friends of mine. Uh, not all of them live in Waukesha, but we live in different areas, and we've gone to different ministry events like this before. There were probably, I'd say, between a hundred, well over a hundred protesters there that day. Um, many different churches were coming out, like different members from different churches. And so um, people I hadn't met before, um, but but I'd probably say over 100 protesters, specifically for my group, I'd say probably 30 plus people. OK, now tell me how it went that day. Were you at some point over on the other side of those barriers? Yeah. So because it was a public park, even though they had a permit for it, it was a public event. It was like a public picnic we were allowed to be there as long as we weren't disrupting the event so we could walk around. And so most of our people were walking around taking videos to get on footage what the drag queens were doing um, to the children. And um, what had happened earlier, so you see in the video where the officer is like, oh, this is the same speaker as before, yes. kind of making it seem as if we had received a warning. That's not actually the case. Um, the, the reason why he was referring to that was because we had the speaker we weren't using the speaker, but we just had the speaker with us. We were carrying it as we were behind that fenced in area. And so one of the officers came to us and said, hey, look, they have a permit for this area, for this fenced in area. So you can't have it inside the fence. Take it outside the fence. So that's what we did. We didn't even use it at that time because, you know, it wasn't the right timing at that time. Hours later, I go and get the speaker and I start speaking the Bible on a public sidewalk outside of the fence, completely outside of the fence, completely outside of their their um, their private area that they had for the park. And and so the officer never gave us a single warning. That was actually our first time using the amplification all day. And not, not once did they give us a warning, a citation, anything like that. As you see in the video, he just comes over without even saying anything to me, rips the mic from my hand, and then arrests me. And what did they charge you with? They charged me for amplification without a permit and uh resisting arrest resisting arrest how are you resisting arrest i didn't see that in the video yeah i asked the officer who handcuffed me as he was taking me away and he said that my muscles tensed up hmm. 